Whether it's speed metal, black metal, thrash, pop, or just plain metallic metal, one recurring theme is the Dungeons & Dragons fantasy. The obsession some kids have had with Dungeons and Dragons in all its forms, metal music, video games, and the board game itself. Trolls are not the, the most uh, <laughs> generous type creatures to attack. They'll probably try to tear out your lungs. <laughs> Has occasionally led to tragedy. One example is a 14-year-old boy in Orangeville, Ontario, who was recently found guilty of murdering two school friends in what you might call an exercise in excessive role playing. Of course, as far as most metal musicians are concerned, Dungeons & Dragons is just an escape, a comic book adventure put to music. And no one epitomizes that attitude as much as Canada's own Thor. first bash at success when videos were almost unheard of and barely developed, as you can tell by this 1979 video for Keep the Dogs Away. For several years after, Thor was chained up by legal problems and metal was established without him. But now, at last, Thor is back. And then nothing for a long time. What happened? Well, besides there being a few legal problems, you know, between a management company and the U.S. record company at the time, I feel I was a little ahead of my time, I think. Uh, I was doing Leathers and Studs and Heavy Metal Wait. back in those days before Motley Crue and Twisted Sister and everybody. Right, I remember. Yeah. Now everybody's just catching up. <laughs> and I'm ready. But don't let anybody accuse you of jumping on the bandwagon. No way, man. I'm, I'm the innovator. I'm the guy that started all this, this stuff here. And uh, I moved to New York because, uh, you know, I think my stuff was too weird at the time for Canada. So, uh, Thor and Pantera, you seem to be a marriage made in uh, heaven or Van Valhalla, I guess you'd call it. Where did you first meet? We met in New York. I went into a club one time. I was playing in a place called Gildersleeves, and she was doing an article on, on uh, Thor from Cherry Magazine. Oh, so I, I kind of went that. in there. And then we just kind of met chest to chest, you know. <laughs> Bumped into each other, and I sprang back, and I said, boy, this must be Cherry Bomb. This whole project seems to be such a comic book thing. Were the two of you real comic book fans when you were kids? Very good. <laughs> Vampirella. <laughs> yeah, right. And Thor, is that where you got a lot of the inspiration for this? Well, I grew up uh, as a comic book freak. When I was a kid, when I was seven years old, no one else was into comics as much as me. I used to go to school just as Clark Kent. I had a Superman costume underneath my clothes. <laughs> I changed the Superman at recess. The next day, I had to put anchors on my arms and go with Popeye. So I was a real nut. <laughs> still am. It seems to me a lot of people have tried to give you trouble over the years, trying to make you prove yourself. I think I read that somebody once tested you by giving you a piece of iron that really couldn't bend anywhere, and you tried, and you, you were really embarrassed because you couldn't do it. And people obviously try to, I guess, break the gimmick apart somehow. 
how do you, how do you defend yourself against that? Well, in that particular case, one time someone gave me this, uh, this medal. It was, uh, you know, it couldn't even bend if you had two trucks pointed. Uh, and I tore my tendons in my arm. I'm just the kind of guy, I never give up. When I played football, you know, I wanted to, put, years ago I wanted to play in, in the Canadian football league, and I played a lot of football, like senior football in Vancouver. Yeah. And one thing, you're taught, never give up. Get the other guy before he gets you. And the same thing with uh, bodybuilding or weightlifting. So, so you and the guys from Band of Pantera, how have you really uh, worked all this together to make it a, a rock and roll thing? I see, I see this band as a team. Like I said before, I wanted to play uh, for the BC Lions or Toronto Argonauts in the CFL. It was one of my dreams as a kid. Yeah. I then instead got into rock and roll, and I like to see my band as a team. And when we go on stage, it's like a sporting event. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I see heavy metal. Yeah. You know, it's competition, going against the other bands, and uh, the guitars are the weapons. Yeah. You recently uh, completed a video, I think, with the help of Bob Connolly, who did uh, Liera's Metal Queen uh, at the Ontario Science Center. What's this video all about? Well, uh, the song is uh, only, uh, no, the song is knock him down, and it's kind of like a space adventure. We're giving you Star Wars on four <laughs> and uh, we've got the evil princess who keeps the mutants down, steals all the food they can't eat, and what we do is fly through space in our spaceship and come to rescue the world <laughs> all within four minutes.
still ahead on the new music, Third World, Kid Creole and the Coconuts, Chocolate Bunnies from Hell, and more.